صحيحه So it looks like our time with retro style digital radios are coming to an end and that's all thanks to this product here called the Rosie Lee. Now this product is from a British manufacturer called VQ and I must admit it is probably one of the best looking digital radios on the market, period. But saying that it does come at a price. The Rosie Lee Dab Radio does come in at £129.99 British pounds. That's on the VQ website but scouring the internet I did find it a little bit cheaper than that. So you can probably try Amazon or any kind of marketplace that sells this kind of product and you'd get a, a lot better price than what VQ are pumping them out for at the moment. You're not just getting a dab radio for that price, you're getting a Bluetooth speaker because you've got the ability to connect it to a mobile phone or a tablet. And it also comes with a 3.5mm auxiliary input on the back which does allow you to plug in a wired device to listen to your music that way. It does also come with a USB port on the back so you can charge your device while you're sleeping. So you can have this plugged in and then your mobile phone plugged into the back of this. It doesn't offer any kind of fast charge like some of the new newer uh, mobile phones do with their own manufacturer plugs. But it's, it's still a feature that's really, really nice, especially if you've got this on a bedside table and you want to put your phone next to it or even listen to music so it doesn't drain your battery through your phone you've got the USB port there. So the VQ Rosie Lee Dab Radio is made from one single piece of wood which enables the speaker to really have this premium kind of look and it is relatively heavy for what it actually is. Now this brand here is called Walnut which means it's got the dark wood fascia on there and it's got the black leather trim but there is also various different styles that you can have this finished in. I will link them in the description so you can go and visit the Rosie Lee website and have a look at all the different colours and the different styles that they do because there are quite a few on there. I can't remember them all off the top of my head but you've got lighter woods, darker woods uh, and then the leather um, sort of trim changes as well. Now this looks like a single piece of leather that goes around the back which is stitched here to connect it and it also has this really nice sort of not so so much subtle, especially on the black and dark wood. It, it's actually quite uh, prominent, but it's like this really beautiful stitching that goes around the outside, which really does offer some kind of premium-looking, luxurious style. I really do like the actually the way that this speaker actually looks. It's it is really quite nice, and it will probably fit within most kind of decor as well, especially as they're different styles. As I said, you could probably get away with one of these in in a bedroom with any kind of decoration or wood finishes. So on the bottom here you have got these small rubber feet and that's to dampen any kind of vibration you get from a hollow surface like a table. I had this on a windowsill and yes the vibration was minimalized um, somewhat especially from sort of the base drivers that are actually on the back of the of the Rosie Lee which are very small but they're just here and here. Uh, but it does offer some kind of dampening from any kind of vibration from heavier styled music. So the screen on the front is three inches and it has a very very wide contrast ratio which is really really nice and it also has a very wide viewing angle as well so whichever kind of direction that this is put in you're still able to relatively see what the time is and I even thought when it was on my bedside table that you get these symbols if you have a look down the right hand side of the big sort of clock the big time you get these symbols depending on which function you are using. So if you've got your alarm set, then you get a little bell icon, which is there, alarm one and two. Uh, if you've got Bluetooth, then you get a little Bluetooth symbol. Uh, and depending on FM, AM, DAB radio, you've got down the left-hand side, you've got which source you're actually attached to as well. Bluetooth, auxiliary. So all the buttons are placed on top, except for the power button, which you can find on the front. And they're all pretty clear when you want to read them you can easily see that from a distance menu presets uh, mode and also alarms and then you've got the scanning button so you can go left and right scanning through the, the various radio stations or the frequencies and then you've also got volume up and down as well now the biggest letdown I think with the buttons is the fact that there's no backlight I would have liked to have seen these light up especially when you're in a very very dark room at night and you want to reach around for the uh, like the snooze button or to turn down the volume of the radio while you're drifting off to sleep. I would have liked to have seen a backlight on there instead of having to, what I had to do is use my mobile phone torch to shine on the top where these buttons were 
so I know which buttons I was pressing. Otherwise, I was just fumbling around in the dark trying to find which buttons to press. <coughs> As I said, I would like to have seen not a huge backlight, but some kind of glow-in-the-dark finish kind of thing. Just, to, just so you can really see what button you're pressing in the dark. One thing that did let me down with the functionality of the buttons on top, I think, is the ability to turn off the alarm without having to go into the menu. I couldn't find a way, oh, let me put it this way. I set my alarm for about seven o'clock, quarter past seven a.m. in the morning to get up to go to work. When that alarm goes off, I generally would just like to have one button press to turn off that alarm. So when I leave my room, get into the shower, my alarm's still not going off in my room. Now, I can't see any way of that happening without having to go into the menu system to then have to turn off the alarm, physically turn off the alarm, and then save that as a setting, rather than just one button to cut it out completely. There is snooze buttons, so if you do press this top middle button, that does act as a snooze button, and that also acts as select as well. So if you're on a menu setting, and you want to select yes or no, or on or off, you can use that uh, to select that particular setting. That functionality, I would have liked to have seen a lot easier. Snoozing, you can set to 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever you want to snooze for, but you just can't turn off the alarm without having to go into the settings, so you're just constantly hitting snooze. However, setting up the radio for the first time was an extremely simple task. Because it's digital radio, it automatically finds the stations that are available in your geographical location. There is an area on the back that does go quite tall, I'm probably off of the actual camera frame at the moment up here, but it goes quite tall so it can pick up a relatively strong signal. Uh, your most common radio stations like Radio 1 or um, what have we got? KMFM, that kind of thing. All the strong FM radio signals you're able to pick up on here. And then you've got loads, I mean there are loads and loads of digital radio stations that um, are available now on the market. It's really, really crazy that they're so tailored to particular music tastes. But in my area, I could find absolutely everything and it was literally a simple case of turning on the radio for the first time and it did everything, including set the time as well. The only thing I set myself was my alarm and that's because I get up at seven. Now, one of the biggest issues I found with the Rosie Lee Dab radio is the sound. And it's such a letdown because this is such a good looking product for what it is for the dab radio market that I was really quite shocked when I heard the quality of the music. Now when you're listening to dab radio, for example, you have you have an option, okay? You can set various different EQ settings. There are presets on there like rock, jazz, pop, Latin, that kind of thing. But there's also a custom EQ mode as well. I would say straight away avoid rock because it puts that bass frequency and that bass setting way too high and it causes a lot of distortion when you're listening to very bass orientated music. Now it doesn't really shine through when you're listening to an audio book or a podcast because it puts, or even like a, a talk show on a radio station for example. And I find that when you do put the bass frequency a little bit higher on those, it gives quite a nice warm tone to a voice. But as soon as you switch over to some kind of music, which is especially bass orientated, then it does kick out quite a bit of distortion, which I wasn't really keen on. It almost felt as if the bass radiators inside the Rosie Lee couldn't handle the music. It couldn't handle the volume of music. And it goes quite loud, don't get me wrong, it's quite a loud little speaker. You'd never ever want to listen to it that loud because you just get a lot of distortion and it's really, really off-putting. Now I know it's not orientated towards the audio files of this world. It's a really nice looking bedside radio, if you will, bedside clock radio, which, which has DAB functionality. So if you are looking at something a little bit more orientated to various genres of music, then yeah, you'd probably go for a Bluetooth speaker, especially if you're spending a hundred pounds, 129 pounds in this case, you'd go for a Bluetooth speaker. But if you wanted a DAB radio, then this is really, really a nice option to go for. So overall, I really like the Rosie Lee DAB radio. It, is really something of finesse it looks really good and it's been constructed really well and it feels really premium as well but the only downfall is that sound quality when you're listening to bluetooth at mid-range high range volumes which is possible if it's just going to act as a bedside speaker but it's not ever going to be anything more than that 
If you would like more information, I will leave a link in the description. As I said earlier, there are a lot of styles that this radio comes in. Different colours, different leather colours different wood finishes so i'll leave all of that in the description below for you to check out so thank you very much for checking out our video review of the rosie lee dab radio by british manufacturer vq if you like this review then click that like button please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos and also let us know in the comments what you think of this radio whether it's something that you would have on your bedside table or whether you would rather go for something a little bit more bluetooth speaker orientated rather than dab clock radio orientated but let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next review.